Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is your first time visiting. So if you haven't already guessed by the title, today I'm going to be doing a review of a new niche fragrance house named Soradora. I'm mostly going to be talking about one of their creations which is called Mandole. Firstly, like I think their packaging is just out of this world, very creative too and I'll explain why when we go into the review. But before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I will continue making content like this in the future. So let's get started on Sora Dora. Have you heard of this brand already or have you tried this brand? I would love to know in the comments below. But if you haven't, um, I'm just going to read a little brief description about the brand which I found online. So Sora Dora is a new fragrance brand. Um, they have seven fragrances in their collection and they launched in 2021. The nose who worked on the fragrances is Antone Soradora. So that is a little bit of a brief overview. Um, they are also based in France. So yeah, let's start with the packaging. So the fragrance I'm mostly going to be talking about, as I mentioned, is Mandole. And it comes in this really nice matte black box with some really nice details. It has Soradora written in signature font there. And Mandole is written here in like a lilac-y colour. And the reason why I said that I really like the packaging is one, I think the aesthetic is beautiful. They come in these really nice cube shaped bottles, which means they will layer really well together on a shelf. But the really cool thing about it is the Soradora logo on the top has a different colour depending on which fragrance it is. So depending on how you stack your perfumes, you could easily tell which one you're looking for if you just look out for the colour of that fragrance, which I think is a really nice idea. I love the gradient of the bottle. I think the aesthetic is just really up my alley. And it also has the Soradora um, signature at the back. But one of my favourite things about the actual aesthetic is the marble caps. I think they are absolutely beautiful. Hopefully it shows on this camera. It's a really nice luxury experience, but I think it's a modern, fresh take and the aesthetic is definitely top notch. But most importantly, let's get on to the actual fragrance. So Mandole notes are just a dream come true for me. I read them online and I just knew I had to try this fragrance. But you never know what you're going to get just because the notes sound a certain way online doesn't mean it's necessarily going to smell exactly how you expect it to. And this one blew my expectations out of the water. I am continuously sniffing this. I'm going back and forth, back and forth, spraying it, just like over spraying it because I just can't get enough. So if you haven't already guessed, I adore Mandole. I think it is going to be a huge hit this autumn winter. I've started to see a few more people talk about it um, recently and I do think it's going to become a firm favourite in the niche category. And yeah, I just... It's mind-blowingly good. You totally don't need as many sprays as this. It is an X straight. But like I said, I'm just super, super obsessed. So let's get the notes up. I'm going to do it from the actual website because I think Fragrantica is missing a few of the main notes in the list breakdown. There is cherry in here. So when you read it on Fragrantica, there's no cherry listed. So just want to um, make it clear that there is an icy cherry note within Mandole. And there is also a leather note, which isn't listed. There is also almond and cacao absolute. Tonka, heliotrope, rum, suede, cashmere wood, vanilla, caramel, fused wood and white musk. And if I have not sold you on those fragrance notes, then I don't know how else to do it because they are kind of my dream notes pretty much. Um, the only thing that could have like been added to make it like literally my dream note breakdown would have been either raspberry, which I absolutely adore in fragrances and also nutmeg, but this is just mind-blowingly good. I normally don't really like fragrances with cherry in them. It's very rare that I find one that I think is done in a way that is beautiful and timeless. It is gourmand, but it's not sickly sweet in my opinion. The cherry in the opening, let me just spray it. 
on a strip quickly. So you really do get the cherry in the opening. But for me, and it's how I described it on my Instagram post I did yesterday, um, if you want to see that, go over to my Instagram. It's I'll pop the link below. But to me, it smells like an amaretto sour with a garnish of cherry. So I don't know if you've ever tried that drink. In the UK, you have Disarano, and it could be like a Disarano and Coke with cherry, or it also reminds me of... I don't know if you've ever had those little liqueur, cherry liqueur chocolates. It reminds me of that too. So you get the cherry right up the top. I really pick out the almond and tonka and I think it's absolutely delicious. But as it starts to settle, that's where the suede comes out. And it really balances this fragrance down from being just like a sweet kind of cherry tonka almond fragrance. So... I just think it's done really, really well. And I think it's perfectly unisex. I'm gonna do a couple of comparison fragrances just because I think it will be useful in this video. I talked about it on my Instagram and I had a few comments actually asking about the comparisons. So it has a slight similarity to Parfum Stamali Herod, definitely. I would say this one has slightly more cherry in it and is a little bit sweeter, personally. And then I also see some similarities to EDK Rouge Smokin', which is the one that got the most intrigue on my Instagram post, because I know a lot of people do love Rouge Smokin'. Now, I'd say there's only about 60% resemblance. I mentioned that Rouge Smokin' has more of a powdery tonka note. It's very tonka heavy. Whereas I think the cherry is much more tart um, in mandole. And then obviously you have the nice notes of like suede and leather that really balance it out. So they're not like similar as such, but they're in the same category. So if you do like those types of fragrances, I think you absolutely love mandole. So yeah, this is a 50 ml bottle. I don't want to hype it up any more than I already have, but I have to say this is probably my favorite launch of 2021 it's definitely up there in the fragrances that i'm going to be absolutely wearing the most in autumn winter longevity on me is pretty good i definitely got at least eight hours yesterday but on the clothes it will last a lot longer but yeah i will continue reviewing this even further but these are kind of more my first impressions on mandole and yeah let me know what your thoughts are have you heard about this one or have you tried it do you like the kind of note breakdown? What I'm going to do as well, actually, is I'll just add the note breakdown up here. This is from Fragrantica, so please just bear in mind that it does have the icy cherry note in here and it does have the leather too. But yeah, highly recommend checking out Soradora. I am definitely going to be purchasing more bottles. I, like I said, love the aesthetic too. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so happy to have found Mandorle because it's become one of my favourite fragrances and I know I'm going to be wearing it so, so much. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. I will continue making content like this, but I just want to wish you a good day and hopefully I will see you all soon. Thanks. Goodbye.